Hi guys, good morning, happy Saturday. My name is Kira. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I have a three day weekend this weekend. So I figured I really wanna get back into vlogging. I really wanna get back into YouTube videos and what better way to do that than to like show you guys a weekend in my life, an extended weekend in my life. Today is Saturday, it's about 11 in the morning. We just got ready. We are gonna head to West Palm Beach on a little day trip. It's about an hour from Miami. So I felt like it'd be kind of nice to explore another town, eat some food, maybe go to the beach. Okay, so I quickly wanted to show you guys my outfit. This is just this maxi halter top dress from Abercrombie. I am obsessed with it. I think it's like the perfect summer dress because it is nice and flowy. Okay, so we're about to head out. This is our beach bag with like our bathing suits and our books. We love to bring books to the beach. This is the purse I'm bringing, my water bottle. You guys already know. <laughs> My emotional support water bottle, I have to bring it with me everywhere. And then this is our beach bag with Jack sandals and all of our towels, sunscreen, and our speaker. So long silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. So long burning slowly. Okay, so we're in Palm Beach. We just went to West Palm Beach. We went to this like little square plaza thing, had some Italian and it was so good. It was super cute, like the whole plaza. But now I just came into this like random bathroom, put on my bathing suit and we're gonna go to the beach for like a little bit before heading back home. <laughs> got back from the beach i quickly stopped into this place just to change before our car ride home this guy had to get rescued not actually but he swam too far out and then we saw sharks so i think it's time to go back to miami i said don't blow my heart i'm on that carpet ride i've been swerving i'm a servant to my magic side I was in a magic Good morning, happy Sunday. Last night, once we got back from the beach, we got back, I think, almost closer to seven. We just ordered in food. We got some burgers and we watched a movie last night. And so now it is Sunday morning. It is almost 10 in the morning. I just got ready for the day. I have like very minimal makeup on today. I mostly use like super goop glow screen on days that I know I'm gonna be running errands, running back and forth, probably sweating. I wanna feel very clean. I don't wanna have like full face of makeup. I just have the super goop glow screen. I have some blush and I have mascara. So it's very minimal today but we're gonna go make breakfast we're gonna go make our grocery list our meal plan and probably head out to trader joe's soon to get our groceries for the week i've also been in like a super dressy mood this weekend as in like i like wearing dresses this is just like the exercise dress from abercrombie i think it's a size small i really like the color i have the same one in black and i just like it because it comes in with like the built-in shorts and everything so even though it looks short like you're still fully covered wherever you go and you don't have to worry about like the wind or anything like that that blowing up your dress because if it does you have shorts on car we're headed to trader joe's i have our little trader joe's bag i have our list fingers crossed i don't buy anything else i feel like whenever i go to trader joe's i always buy more than i need to because i feel like i'm just drawn to everything i also want to get a new thing of flowers a new bouquet of flowers because the ones i have are kind of dying on me and i think that's like my favorite part of the week is going to trader joe's and just buying flowers it like bring life to your space but anyways enough blabber we're gonna head out and then i'll give you guys a grocery haul when i get back it's not always easy, time slow, still trying to find the reason to hold on to those dreams of mine. Okay, so 
so I just got back from Trader Joe's. I feel like I got a lot, but I feel like I got less than normal or maybe I just controlled myself in terms of like buying too many snacks and whatnot because usually we have like four to five bags and today we just had two of these Trader Joe bags and then one of the reusable ones. I wanna buy more of those reusable ones, but they didn't have any more of them today in store. So I'm hoping next week when I go, they have more because I just like reusable bags more, but I'm gonna set it all out here to kind of give you guys a haul because all this food goes hand in hand with the meal plan I showed you guys that I made earlier. And honestly, it's not that bad. I love shopping at Trader Joe's more than shopping at Publix. I feel like at Publix, I buy less but spend more and Trader Joe's has really good deals. Obviously, they mostly have like their name brand stuff. So I have to go to Publix just for a few things like lasagna noodles and Jack likes his snacks from Publix and then like tortillas. Honestly, all of this is like 99% of our groceries for the week. And then the 1% is just gonna be at Publix. But I spent $116. Obviously, I got some flowers. I got some soap. I got some other stuff. So not not all of it was spent on food, but we divide that by two. We split all of our groceries in half. So that's $58 per person for a whole week, which I feel like isn't bad because we got lots of meat, we got fish and all of that. Okay, so this is all the groceries that we got this week. Plus we got one more thing of soap and then two little bouquets of flowers. I think each one of these was either $2.99 or $3.99. So this obviously isn't food related. We're having chicken yido skyros whatever this week for dinner. So I got some pita pockets. I have been obsessed with the salmon rice bowls and I wanted to try it with the seaweed, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it. So I only got one pack just to try it out this week. We got some broccoli, some avocados, some lemons and limes. I wanna try medjool dates this week. I heard that they're really good if you like put peanut butter or whatever and freeze them. So I wanna try that. We got some tzatziki sauce. This obviously will last us like more than a week. So like a lot of this stuff, last us more than a week. Like this won't be finished this week. None of this will be finished this week for the most part. We also got ricotta because we're gonna make lasagna this week. We have some Parmesan, some Greek yogurt, some mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce. We ran out of soy sauce, so we bought more soy sauce. And then over here, we just like have cilantro, parsley, carrots, peppers. We have like three other peppers. We're gonna make a stir fry, so I just wanted an extra pepper. We also still have like zucchini in the fridge and all that, so that's why we just have like one pepper. We got some melon. We have some raspberries, some lettuce. Jack's gonna eat salads this week for lunch. We have some strawberries. I decided to get the bigger pack of strawberries just because I can freeze some. Some bananas, three cucumbers. These are freaking huge and I'm so excited. We have ground beef for the lasagna. This is for my lunch. And then we have some ground chicken for taco salad. We also obviously still have like a lot of food in our pantries. Like I don't need to replenish everything every week. We have usually a lot of rice and a lot of pasta every week by week. Week. I also have like chickpeas and chicken broth like all the staples we keep in our pantry I pretty much just buy like fresh produce every week just because we stock up on the other stuff But like here we have like oatmeal like our protein powder peanut butter and all that stuff And then this one's a little messier. This is just like miscellaneous like bread chips This is usually like the snack cabinet, I guess you could say. Okay, so whenever I get back from the grocery store, I've been liking to start like cutting up my fruits, my veggies, and then like putting everything away, washing everything so I don't have to do it later in the week. So I have this lit little tin. I still have spinach left over from last week and we're gonna use that for the lasagna and for some smoothies. But I'm gonna put some more lettuce on this side of it. That way it's just quick and easy. It's all washed, all prepped, and you just put it in your bowl and eat your salad. <laughs> So once the strawberries dry, they've already been washed. Once they dry, I'm just gonna put them in this little container and then I just put them in the fridge. It's like an airtight container and I kid you not, they last me at least a week. I know sometimes strawberries start getting gross after like three days, but this lasts me a week or more. I've had strawberries last me almost two weeks and they still stay as like nice and red and bright as they are now. They don't get like gross and mushy so definitely i recommend you guys washing your strawberries washing your fruit your veggies cutting things up if you need to
Okay, so I just quickly made a spicy rigatoni. The day is really nice outside. It was supposed to be like gross and rainy the entire day, but it's not. So I quickly just finished eating. I've just put on my belt bag and I changed my shoes into like my walking shoes. These are the Hoka shoes and I am obsessed with them. They're my favorite shoes ever, but it is hot outside. So I just put on a ton of sunscreen, I've reapplied sunscreen on my face, but I'm gonna go on a walk. I just got back from Whole Foods. They're these mini chocolate chip muffins. Clearly, Jack and I have already eaten one. They're so good, they're just like chocolate chips. This was the last package today, and I am so happy because they're just so good for no reason at all. But besides that, I got a few other things, like nothing too crazy. Jack wanted pretzels, so we got pretzels because obviously you can't get those at Whole Foods or at Trader Joe's. I didn't find croutons at Trader Joe's, so I got them at Whole Foods. We only go to Whole Foods for like little things and I only really go if I go on a walk and I need something. If not, we don't go there because it is more expensive. But for like the little stuff, I'm like fine with buying, especially if they have those muffins. We got lasagna noodles because they didn't have that at Trader Joe's today. And then I'm so excited to try this. It's the Mike's Hot Honey that everyone is raving about on like TikTok and everything. So I found it. Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning. It is about 7.45 in the morning. I have to head out to my workout class in about like 15 minutes. I'm just gonna take a walk there. It's about a mile away, so I figured it'd be like a nice little warm up, you know, get my muscles moving because I haven't done like a hard workout in a while. I think it's like a hit conditioning type of workout. So I'm super nervous, just A, because I'm going by myself and I've never been here before, but B, because I don't want the workout to be too hard. I have my bag packed all the way over there and I have like a change of a shirt. I have a little towel. I have some dry shampoo, like deodorant and all that stuff because I think right after I'm just gonna go treat myself to a nice little breakfast, do some planning, do some journaling. eating at Pura Vida. So good. I got overnight oats and they were delicious and I got an immunity shot which was good too but now I'm walking by the water. There's some food trucks here and I like to eat or drink the chai latte but I also want something savory so I don't know what I'm gonna get. Maybe I'll get like something else but we're gonna see. I'm excited and then we're gonna walk home because it's hot and we need a shower. I just got out of the shower and I stained my sweatshirt, the one that I was wearing yesterday from Join Forum. I accidentally spilled oil all over it. So I just had to quickly go in and like try to clean it off with like dish soap and baking soda. So I did like a little scrubbing. And so now I'm hoping that if I throw it into the washer, it's gonna fix itself because it's my favorite sweatshirt and I'm so mad at myself for staining it. But fingers crossed that the thing gets out. It is literally one o'clock right now and I'm kind of hungry. I think I did like a lot of movement, a lot of workout and I need to like feel my body. I ended up quickly making this Buddha bowl that I have been obsessed with. It's just lettuce, cucumbers, feta, red peppers. I added these little mozzarella balls today. There's some hummus in here. I like sprinkled some lemon juice on there. And then I just made the couscous, but it's way too hot and I don't want it to like be too hot when I eat this. I might either put it on or just like eat it on the side with like salt, pepper, and olive oil because I feel like when it's too hot, then the lettuce leaves get all like wilty and like kind of gross. Okay, so I just got back from Target and I ended up getting more than what I intended for. I literally only went for body wash and batteries, but 
Target is a type of place that tells you what you need. You don't go in thinking you need something. It'll just find its way to you. But I figured I would just give you guys a quick little haul. Okay, so I ended up just getting this Method Body Body Wash. It honestly smelled really good. Then our scrub daddy is getting really gross. So I decided to just go ahead and buy a new one. I realized I was running low on face wash. So I just got this Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. The batteries were also running low on this Myers Multi-Surface Cleaning. So I got another one. This. I wanted to find a second one so badly, but this was actually the last one in store But I figured it'd be good to like hold like oats or rice in and I really I think i'm gonna go online and try to look for The same exact one so that I can put the other thing in it because I think they're just so perfect this You know me. I love anything that has to do with stationary organization And this is just a calendar starting this july until next year 2023 So like next july I figured it'd be good, you know since i'm trying to do more youtube and more stuff to like organize all of my things on paper and be able to take it with me anywhere and then these bowls i did not need them but they're just so cute these ones i thought it would be good for like berries and fruit or whatever and these bigger ones i thought they'd be great for like my chia seed pudding overnight oats oatmeal and whatnot so basically like my breakfast things you know they're just really cute i really want to go online and find another one of those little canisters because i really think they are perfect for like pastas rice oats and all that stuff so i want to have like at least one or two more so that i can put all of that stuff instead of having the big bulky boxes this kind of like stores it nice and easily i do want to start making dinner because we're gonna make lasagna and that's gonna take an hour to an hour and a half so i really want to get started on that but i think i'm gonna leave this video off here only because i do want to start filming other videos like what i spend in a week as well as what i eat in a week that way you guys can get a better understanding or more in-depth understanding of like what i do day to day being said i hope you guys enjoyed and make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in next week's video bye